we're going to show you how to make gravy, southern style gravy. If you watched the previous video, showed you how to make cube steaks. We also showed you in another video how to make biscuits. So this is going to complete your southern meal. All right, I've got about four tablespoons of oil. This is the oil that was used to fry the cube steak in. So I'm going to add about four tablespoons of flour. You want equal parts flour to um, oil. Like I said, I estimated how much flour was in there, or how much oil was in there. You're going to whisk that together. If you find that it's too runny, like that is, you're going to add more flour. It's as simple as that. And I'm still not happy with that amount of flour, so we're going to add more. Apparently, I was really bad at estimating how much oil was in there. Alright, you're going to cook this um, roux, which is flour and oil, or flour and fat. It can be any fat. And you're just going to cook it until it no longer smells like raw flour. It'll start to smell a little nutty. You also want to make, you also want to use a whisk to make sure you're not going to have any lumps. Now we're going to add our milk. Um, I'd love to tell you that I know exactly how much milk we add, but I just add it till it feels right. And we're going to need a lot more than that. Because we had a lot of oil and flour. Alright, that's good. Tony's my helper today. <laughs> so, he's also the cameraman, so he is multi talented. <laughs> You're just going to keep cooking this until it comes to a boil. It will not thicken until it boils. If for some reason it starts boiling and you see that it's way too thick, you're going to add more milk. If it boils and it's too thin, Unfortunately, you're having thin gravy that night. It happens, especially when you're a southern cook and you don't really measure anything. I'm just adding some salt and pepper. Now, I am adding a lot of salt because I fried cube steak. Now, if you're frying, like, sausage and making sausage gravy, you're not going to need to add this much salt. You have to be careful because, you know, see, as long as it took me to just add some salt and pepper... Got a couple little lumps in there, so you want to be careful. And you just work those lumps out with your whisk. So it does take a little bit of time to boil. And I can already tell you I'm going to need to add just a little touch more milk. I already feel that it's getting really thick before it's boiling. So if that happens, add more milk. Southern cooking is just, it's a lot about 
intuition and just the food will tell you <laughs> what needs to be done and if it's ready if it needs more of this needs more of that and it does need more milk I had a lot more oil and flour than I should have had so we're gonna have a lot of actually our cat's gonna be really happy <laughs> Cause she's gonna have some gravy. All right, and that is Southern style gravy. As you can see, it has started to boil. And that's it. Hope y'all try it. Hope you like it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye.